How's it going guys? Hope you're having a wonderful start to your weekend. Uh, it's New Year's weekend, so happy New Year to everybody. Uh, today we are going to be doing a couple builds. It's actually going to be two, and split into two videos. The first one is going to be the Demon Eyes, Dio Dynamics Demon Eyes. I'm going to be installing those, and then following that, I'm going to be doing the Op7 Grill LED Kit. Um, I wanted to do them in separate weeks, but I decided to do them at the same time because they had to pop the bumper off, and uh, I just want to do all the wiring and all, but... To do them together on one video would be a little bit. So we're going to start with the Demon Eyes, and in the next video we're going to be doing the Op7 Grill Kit. So stay with me. I'm going to get everything set up. All, this, all the sizes you got? Yes, I'm sorry. They're missing. Oh, oh my God. Wobbly. So Sang King, he's uh, here to help us out today. So uh, but, yeah, hopefully that gets us a little faster. But we're going to have to start by taking the bumper off, which I've done many times before, so no issue there. Um, but then we're going to be taking the headlights off. Can't just get to the projector itself. You actually have to get behind here. And the projector is really sitting like back there. So we're just going to pull the headlight off and hopefully it makes it a lot easier. Um, there might be a quicker way, but I'd rather just do it this way. So Sang is working diligently to take this bumper off. You might as well get these ones too. They're the same thing. Just keep doing your job and uh, you'll get paid. You Nothing. I can't pay you in beer. It's, uh, it's too high of a pay for you. You can get water. You that poor? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Whoa. shit! Just doing this thing. Hey, you want screwed over? Yeah, well, I got two. Uh, we need one more, right? Where is it? This one right here. This one, I got it, I got it. All right, so to see the whole video on how we actually get that bumper off, check out my splitter install video, which will be right about there. All right, so we're just getting the headlights off now. I'm probably going to bring them inside, figure out actually how to, like, take this piece out and actually get the demon eye in there, but we'll figure it out once we have them completely off. <laughs> Are you using that to break the tin? No, I just don't have anything else. I can't find my wrench. So I, like, I use it to go one over and I unscrew like, this. What the hell? They're on there real fucking tight, man. I don't know what to tell you. Damn, dude. You're still working over there? Oh, I see what you're going after now. Yep. I almost got it. Okay. All right, so to get the headlight off of the car, you're going to go, and there's a uh, little switch right here, the main harness for it. You're just going to lift up that red tab, and that'll pop right off. Leave it to the side, and then there's another wire. Ooh. God, that could have sucked, but luckily I took the bumper all the way off. Thank you. And then, I'll just come around on the other side. I use pliers. Pinch that. Let it fall through. And now we can bring these inside. All right, guys, so this has required a lot of thought, a lot of engineering, you know, right there, engineering. Um, but I want to make sure that you guys understand that uh, I think I found a solution to one, not take the lens off. I don't think it's actually going to help in this case at all. Um, as you can see, there's the projector in there. The thing is, is that our projector is actually mounted to this bracket itself. Like there's no, there's no way you can unscrew it from the front and put it in there. And uh, it's hard to see with the light back in um, once I pull it off, once I make my bracket here, which you'll see why I have to in a minute. Um, the, the reflection light that cuts our headlight off so that you can't see as much is back here. So it's, it's not your standard projector. So honestly, the only way this is going to work, and you can see there, there's the housing. 
I'm gonna have to make my own custom bracket right off of here. This is metal. Uh, I'm talking to my buddy right now to see if JB Weld will work or if I'm gonna have to drill into it. Uh, I'm hoping that I can just JB Weld it into place. If not, I'll, I'll drill into it and take the risk, uh, but we'll, we'll see exactly what happens here in a little bit. All right, so this is everything I picked up. Got the uh, bits so I can drill out this for this coupling. This coupling is what I'm gonna do to uh, be using to put in the side here. And uh, pretty much what the idea with that is I'm able to keep it still watertight, uh, as much moisture out of there as possible. Uh, when you tighten this down, if I can get it back in focus for you. What the heck? Yeah, okay. So, now that's in focus. Uh, pretty much when I put this in, this will tighten down. It'll actually make that gasket tighter. Uh, so that should work well. And then I got JB Well. I decided not to drill into it. Um, I don't know the integrity of it that well. So I'd rather just put the JB Weld on there. So what I've already started doing is I took the bracket and I bent it. Um, and then also I'm gonna put a little bit of JB Weld on the nut on the bottom there. That way, or I'm sorry, the bolt. That way if I ever need to replace the LED, I can just unscrew the nut. Hopefully that'll be str the JB Weld will be strong enough where I can just unscrew that, put it on, and then you know just sort of roll my finger on there and get a little wrench in there to tighten it down. So from here, what I'm gonna do is get the JB Weld ready. I'm gonna put this in here as it's supposed to be, sort of set it. That's why I went with the quick weld. Um, it's not as strong as regular JB Weld, but at least it'll set within like, you know, four to six minutes instead of four hours. And uh, I can play with that. And then I'll start working on getting this coupling in. All right, so we're first gonna start with drilling the hole to get the coupling in for the new wires that are gonna have to come out. Be quick. I'm gonna try to keep as much crap out of there as possible. So I got the vacuum. All right, so we got this bolt in. What we're gonna have to do, because it wasn't, it's not an exact half inch like this says. I'm um, probably gonna go get a little bit of silicone and just put it on the outside just to make sure. Uh, I don't wanna have any water or condensation build up in there. I'm gonna vacuum this out, blow it out a little bit more. But from there, we'll flip it over, make sure there's no metal on this side. And we will start to take the bracket that was brought with the kit, and we're gonna bend it to go with the actual bezel that's in here. And then we'll take that um, JB Weld and we'll throw it all together. All right, so bent the bracket so that it will sort of go with the contour in here that you'll be able to see. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pin, the actual wire, off the uh, little pins where it connects in so that I can run that through already. Then when I plug it in, all I got to do is put the JB Weld on it, mold it up, and then we don't touch it again. Um, a couple big things that I do want to make sure you guys do, if you are going to look to do this, make sure you put the bolt on the opposite side of wherever the LED is, so on this case the bottom. Or, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the nut will be on top, the bolt will be on the bottom, then you can RTV the bolt. That way, um, if you ever have to replace the LED, you can still unscrew it. The RTV should be able to hold it in place, um, and that should help out a little bit with that. And then also, you'll be able to run these wires on the top, and they won't get caught in here as well. So just a couple tips that I'm trying to figure out as we go. Start mixing it up. Get that gray color. And then we'll come over here. I should just bring the entire thing. Again, make sure we get a little bit on that bolt first. A little, not a lot. And 
and then we just start smearing it on here. Uh, you don't need to make that bend extremely like flush. This is gonna thicken up and you'll be able to sort of just press it on into place and it should hold it pretty well. You know, you're not, pretty much you just need it to hold it there so it won't shake. Um, it's gonna be metal to metal. It really, you know, one thing that uh, JV Weld is really good for is actually aluminum. So both pieces that you're working with are aluminum, which is nice. So just pick it by the wire now. And then what I did for the first one, because I need to make sure I was good at this before I showed you guys, was um, I used those pliers to just sort of put it in place, get it maybe 90% of the way there, and then I pressed it on by hand and just held it there for a little bit. And then my wife sort of visualized and made sure it sort of was in the right place, and then I, after like three or four minutes, I just made like one final adjustment. Um, you know, if you don't get it exactly in the middle, it's all right. Uh, the light's gonna reflect anyways. It's not like it's going straight at it. So you should be good there. So that should be enough. We'll just rotate it. Pick it up again. I want to get a little tighter. All right. Try to not put it on your wires. It's not really that big of a deal if it does. And. That looks pretty good. So I'll just press it into place and I'll start verifying from there. All right guys, so it is molded up. Um, just starting to cure right now. It's got about another three, four hours before it's fully cured. So right now the plan is just to let this sit. Um, it's getting kind of late anyways. Had to go out to the store and get everything for it. Um, got the wire through. Like I said, I'm just gonna just gonna let everything sort of just cure for right now and I'll take care of it in the morning. I already have the other one sitting curing too, so I did not drill the hole for that one first. So that's where I got the whole idea of taking that little clip off. So that will save you guys some time if you decide to do this. So I will see you in the morning. But for you, it's like five seconds. Back at it in the morning, uh, we got the light all set up inside there. Demon eye is good to go. Pretty much just gonna be reassembling the headlight. Then I'm gonna start working the wiring. I wanna get the wiring all set up and nice and clean before I do any like hard install of it. Um, so I got the soldering out. I've been doing my little lab experiments out here on the kitchen counter. So uh, yeah, gonna get to that. So outside I got the headlight. I started hooking up the, uh, like the different distributions, I guess, for it. This right here is the RGBW controller. You need that for the Demon Eyes. Um, this one's the Bluetooth one. I believe they make a remote control one as well. So I put this here so I can get its power and ground pretty easily from the fuse box. Uh, I'm gonna select a fuse using one of these tap-ins. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with a blank one to try it for right now. It's the one I've been going off of and it hasn't given me any issues yet. Um, but if I have to, I'll, I'll switch them out or in around. From there, I run the actual RGBW lines down the side of the fuse box, and I'm going to be putting the uh, these right here, these two drivers that are actually for the headlight itself. I'll be putting those in here, and I'm going to mount them underneath so that they're out of the way. Then they'll just plug right into here. But the one thing that these have is their own independent ground, and they're this remote line is what I'm gonna call it because I'm using stereo term here. Uh, this remote line is supposed to hook up to the low beam in the car, but 
I don't see how that's gonna be possible with this setup. I know what fuse it is. I'm gonna try to tap it and see what happens using one of these two, but I got a few feeling that power runs to a constant and the remote line for it is within its own harness. So I'll probably end up just turning it into a ground. And pretty much all that remote line does is when a 12 volt, a 12 volt system hits this, it's gonna shut off the LED because it doesn't want it to burn out. So let me get to more wiring here and then I'll give you guys an update. All right, so we got the fuse tie-in right here. Uh, it just has the top fuse in it because it's just an empty uh, fuse. So we're good there. Loop that round, it goes into its power right here. I took the ground from back here. Uh, it goes into that Bluetooth controller and then its cables that go to the harnesses and the drivers are right here, they run down. Both my drivers are gonna be down here. One will hook up to the headlight here. The other will have a cable that comes across. I'm gonna have to zip tie it up underneath and it'll go over that way. Uh, for the remote tie-ins, they'll both be over here. I plan on tapping fuse number 55, I believe. 55, low beam relay, or no, yeah, it can't be low beam relay, it's too big. Um, 63 or 64 would be probably the only ones I can try. Um, they are the HIDs light itself, so maybe they'll turn on once the relay kicks on. Um, We'll find out. If it doesn't work, I, I'm pretty faithful to myself that I can shut off a light before I turn you know, the car back on. But we'll try it to see because it is a cool safety feature. So let's get to it. If your hands are pinched, that means it's hidden well. That it can never run away again. All right, so we're gonna start by plugging in. There was a, uh, a wire that was connected to this, and then we're also gonna plug in the harness. So I can start with the harness. Demon eye is already plugged in. Um, once I get these all plugged in, I will pretty much just tuck everything in there. I don't want to scratch anything up. So work on that real quick. I need to get this farther up. There we go. There. That goes on like so. That goes in like so. Just trying to tuck that wire back as much as possible so it doesn't get tripped up on itself. Should be good to just slide it back in. All right. Should be good to just start bolting it back up. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this upload. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions on how I did this, make sure you feel free to uh, put them down in the comments below. Also consider subscribing. I have that 500 subscriber giveaway going on right now. Uh, we're going to keep the bumper off right now because I'm going to be moving into the second part where I'm going to be putting another LED strip on. So check uh, out for that video. It should be coming up a couple, you know, a couple days after this one once I post edit and everything like that. So thanks a lot guys. Make sure you're liking. Have a great one.